This video will concern some application of Stoll's Caesar theorem. Stoll's Caesar theorems. We can find many. One principal one and some corollary of the Caesar theorem. I will give the uh, the more general uh, case. So uh, let let A n be a real sequence and B n be a positive sequence such that the sum from k equal 1 to plus infinity of bk is equal to plus infinity then then if the limit of a n over b n when n goes to plus infinity is equal to l this implies that the limit of a1 plus a2 plus 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 a n divided by b1 plus b2 plus 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 b n when n goes to plus infinity is equal to n this is the uh, most general one as a uh, an immediate uh, corollary uh, for the proof yeah uh, we can prove it it's not uh, hard uh, as a first corollary if if we have a sequence x n A real number sequence and if we have un a real sequence which is strictly an increasing and then un goes to plus infinity when n goes to plus infinity so this is a strictly increasing but here it is positive and here it is strictly increasing in this case, if, if the limit of xn minus xn minus 1 divided by un minus un minus 1 is equal to n, when n goes to plus infinity, this implies that the limit of uh, xn divided by un when n goes to plus infinity is actually equal to n, the same limit. We suppose that the proof is uh, is done. How we can uh, deduce this corollary from this uh, general uh, case? Let 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 uh, x1 be equal to a1 and x and a n equal to x n minus x n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 2. Uh, here actually here actually a1 is equal to x1. Yes, I know that the equality is commutative, but I prefer this this uh, form. And let b1 equal to y1 and bn equal to yn minus yn minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 2. If we replace the sum of bn, is equal to the sum so what we have we have we have the sum of bk from k equal uh, to one uh, until 
and this is equal to this is equal to u n minus u one and the sum from k equal one to n a a k this is equal to x n minus uh, x n minus x one. So, all is clear. We have an divided by bn is equal to n. This implies that what? This implies that the sum is equal to n. An divided by B, B, bn is actually xn minus xn minus 1 divided by u1 minus u n minus 1. And the sum is just xn minus x1 divided by u n minus u1 since x1 and u1 are a fixed one so the limit is it will be decided by the the limit of xn divided by by u n when n goes to plus infinity <coughs> why because because u n goes to plus infinity so this will be uh, constant because this is uh, strong and uh, x1 divided by un will be equal to zero so the limit is exactly xn divided by un uh, here we have an exercise that we uh, will use uh, this kind of idea very important uh, stalls cesaro theorems I say theorems because because we have we have a multiple form of this theorem. Let us take an as application. This exercise. Let let you n be a real uh, sequence which uh, such that you n converge to n when n goes to plus infinity. We can prove that vn, which is equal to u1 plus u2 plus plus u n divided by n, this also goes to n, the same limit. As an application, we can consider Bn equal to 1, a constant sequence. The sum is equal to plus infinity. Uh, it is, uh, it is uh, positive. Uh, it is a po positive uh, sequence. So we can apply directly the general uh, formula of Stoll's Cesar. Even we can, for example, give a proof. The proof, we should uh, verify that the limit is equal to n. So we, uh, we, we need to find a rank such that from starting from this rank, we need to prove that Vn minus L is less than or uh, less than epsilon. This means u1 plus u2 plus un divided by n minus n. We need to prove that <coughs> this is less than epsilon. This formula can be reformulated as follow. So we have u1 plus 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 un minus l n divided by n. And since we have n terms, this takes this form. This takes this form, u1 minus l plus u2 minus l plus 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 un minus l divided by n. But don't forget that un converge 
to uh, converge to a limit. This means that there exists, uh, let me uh, denote this by a1 and 1. Since un converge to a, this means that uh, for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a rank m of epsilon such that starting from this rank, we have the limit the difference between u n and the limit l less than epsilon. Let us take this n and we will put it somewhere here. <laughs> Thus, v n minus l will be equal to 1 divided by n the, uh, less than or equal 1 divided by n, u1 minus l, plus u2 minus l, and so on, until, until un of epsilon minus l. This is the first part. And the second part is un epsilon plus 1 minus l plus plus u n minus n. This is a, a finite number. So here we have a, a finite terms divided by n. One n goes to plus infinity. This goes to zero. So we can find here a rank which uh, we, uh, this, this goes to, to zero. This goes to zero. <coughs> but for this one, this is less than, this is less than of one divided by n times how many times so we have n minus, uh, minus n of epsilon plus one minus one divided by n times epsilon uh, here we have uh, we have n by n so it, it goes so we have here uh, this is the n sorry this uh, we have just one n this one so this is less than or eps, uh, less than or equal to one so here we have less than epsilon from this this side <laughs> This is a fixed uh, real number, and we have 1 divided by n, so 1 n goes to uh, plus infinity, this goes to 0, and here we have n, we have n, uh, so uh, n 0 of epsilon, which permits us to uh, make this less than or uh, equal to epsilon. This is a sequence because we have here and so we can consider this as a sequence. If we take the maximum between if we take the maximum between n0 epsilon and n1 epsilon, we will get less than 2 epsilon. So we can take epsilon over 2 and epsilon over 2 to take. This proves and finish the proof. So the basic idea the basic, the most important idea is to divide the sum to two uh, sums. The first one less than n of epsilon the rank. The second one starting from n of epsilon. The second one is less than epsilon over 2 because this sequence converge and the rank is n1. The first one goes to 0. Why goes to 0? Uh, because we have here a fixed uh, number and here we have n divided by n. This is a fixed n of epsilon. So we have a finite sums of terms. Uh, so we can find a rank such that all this, this, uh, this quantity is less than epsilon over 2. This is the most important and, uh, idea in this exercise. So we finish the first question. The second question 
uh, actually is an exercise uh, for application. What says the, uh, the exercise? <laughs> the exercise says that, suppose that we have a, a sequence, we have a sequence UN, which is a real uh, number sequence, and let L be a real number. Uh, prove that, prove that first, if un minus un minus 1, the limit goes to n, 1n goes to plus infinity, prove that the limit of un divided by n is equal to n. We can use the previ previous theorem. What we proved just uh, the limit of u n equal to n. This uh, imp uh, implies that the limit of u one plus plus u n divided by n is equal to n. We we use the, this theorem. How we can use it? We can here make here we can make a n and here a1 until a index n. Let, let b u1 equal a1 equal to u1. a1 equal to u1. And a n equal to u n minus u n minus one for n greater than or equal to two <laughs> the n just this uh, I I don't need to use the first the general form just this one it's okay for this sequence, if the limit of a n, which is equal to u n minus u n minus one, is equal to n, if, if the limit when n goes to plus infinity, infinity, this implies that the limit of the sum. The, li the, the limit of the sum of a n. So the sum of a n will be a1, which is u1, plus a2. So a2 is a2 is equal to a2 is equal to u2 minus u u1. And so, so on till we, we, we arrive to UN <coughs> divided by what? Divided by, by N. This is actually equal to, to the limit of UN divided by N. Which is equal exactly the same the same limit of this one. This is the proof of the first question. The second question for the second question. Prove that if you n has only positive terms, so we suppose that you n is greater than zero for all n. Prove that the and if the limit of u n is equal to n, then the nth root, the nth root of u one, u two, u n, is exactly the same thing that that the limit of u n. So let us denote by the n the nth root of u one plus uh, times u2 times un. We know that 
ln is a continuous function, so we can use it, and we get, and we get one divided by l uh, of ln u1 plus 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 ln un. One has, one has, <laughs> if you n converge to l, and since ln is a continuous function, then ln u n converge to ln l. So using the previous, the previous result, this will goes, this will go to ln l. Ln Vn goes to Ln L, so Vn goes to L. This goes to L is a direct straight application of the previous result. The last question is a little bit different. Find the limit when n goes to plus infinity of what? Of ln 2 plus, plus ln 3 divided by 2 plus ln n plus 1 divided by n divided by ln n. Actually, I, uh, I met here ln n and this is an error. Actually, the question, the, the right question is this one. But I will answer for this one and for this simple one. For this simple one, we are in the same condition, so just all what we need, we need to, uh, to calculate the limit of n and n plus 1 divided by n as uh, an application. So since ln n plus 1 divided by n goes to, to 0 when n goes to, to plus infinity, we can make, make this. So we know that this goes to 0 and this goes to 1. Uh, for those who uh, aren't comfortable uh, with uh, just uh, and here, uh, since the principal limit goes to zero, this implies that this limit, uh, the limit of the n, is equal to zero too. But the question was n and n, and this is a, a mistake uh, from me. So, I will answer this question. Actually, what uh, can I do? So, uh, here we will consider this as equal to un. And I consider that this is xn. un is positive and it is, it is strictly, uh, so it is strictly uh, increasing and it goes to plus infinity. So we are in the, uh, the first corollary of the uh, general uh, theorem of Stolz Caesar. So if, if the limit of xn minus xn minus 1 divided by un minus un minus 1. If this is equal to l, then the limit of xn divided by un is equal to l2. Let us uh, see what, uh, what do we have from xn minus xn minus 1. This is actually is equal to ln n plus 1. Uh, x n minus div, uh, divided by n and u n minus u n minus 1 this actually is equal to ln n minus ln n minus 1 which is equal to ln n divided by n minus 1 uh, 
which is equal to a land one plus one over divided by n. So the most important uh, things here is to calculate the the <coughs> function or the, uh, the division, the question between these two sequences. This is equal to ln n plus 1. This is equal to ln n plus 1 divided by n. And the, the second is ln 1 plus 1 over n minus 1. So we can take this from here, we can put it here, and from here, we can put it here. This goes to, this goes to plus infinity, and this goes to E. So we have here plus infinity. Since it's equal to plus infinity, so this limit goes to plus infinity. Uh, this uh, ends this video for today. See you uh, tomorrow, inshallah. Thank you very much.